Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, 2 Minute Lessons. In this lesson, uh, I will talk about a very significant and interesting aspect of the living world. What is the basic unit to construct a humble house or a high rise building? Yes, you are right. Bricks, of course. What is the basic building unit of microscopic organisms or the huge elephant? The cell, of course. Key areas in this lesson, as you might have understood, what is the basic unit of life? What is the importance of cell biology? And in specific, structure of the animal cell. What is the importance of cell biology? Learning about cell biology will increase our knowledge, gives us a better understanding of living things and our lives as well. We can analyze both genetic and cell information to produce a health forecast or able to take more control over one's health in a preventive positive way. Uh, the use of forensic medicines and DNA fingerprinting, biotechnology to genetically modify crops, clone plants and animals to produce and ensure high quality food at lower costs, purer medicines and organs for transplant. Above all, it could make a very exciting career choice. Both plants and animals perform so many life processes for their survival. How does it happen? With the help of the cells, the basic unit of life. Life processes like respiration, photosynthesis, circulation are carried out. All types of diseases and disorder begin at the cellular or molecular level. Physical damage like burns or fractures cause damage at the cellular level. We all know how the pandemic, the COVID-19 has impacted our lives. Let me tell you about the cell structure and function of a typical animal cell. The first part is the plasma membrane. It is a Outermost cover, it is a semi-permeable membrane surrounding the animal cell, a single layered membrane. It is made up of lipids embedded with proteins and carbohydrates that regulate the entry and exit of nutrients. The functions, main functions, the plasma membrane include identification, communication, regulation of solute exchange through the membrane and isolation of cytoplasm from the external environment. Next is the nuclear membrane. It is a double layered outer membrane covering the nucleus, also called the nuclear envelope. Only the outer membrane is porous. Chemically, the membrane is made up of protein and lipid. The nucleus is a cell organelle and apart from the nuclear envelope has a sub such as nucleolus, chromatin and genetic materials. Chief function is to keep the organelles distinct and assist in transportation. I will take up an independent lesson on nucleus and its function in another session. Endoplasmic reticulum. Short form is ER. Endoplasmic reticulum is a cellular organelle with a thin winding network of membranous sacs that starts from the nucleus. Uh, this tubular structure is found in the cytoplasm. It is of two types. RER is the rough endoplasmic reticulum that has ribosomes on its surface and SER, the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, 
contains does not contain ribosomes while the smooth endoplasmic reticulum is involved in protein synthesis the rough endoplasmic reticulum helps in the synthesis of lipids mitochondria it is a plural mitochondrium or mitochondrion is a singular mitochondria are spherical or rod shaped organelles with a double membrane they are the power houses of the cell as they play an important role in the release of energy not only release of energy they also generate heat they synthesize proteins through important process called the krebs cycle apart from these main organelles there are other cell organelles starting with the vacuoles uh, the vacuole is a membrane bound organelle present inside the cell involved in maintaining shape storing water food and waste next comes the lysosomes they are round organelles surrounded by a membrane with digestive enzymes useful for digestion excretion and cell renewal golgi apparatus also called golgi complex a flat smooth layered sac like organelle located near the nucleus that manufactures stores packs and transports particles throughout the cell what about the ribosomes yeah they are small organelles made up of rna rich cytoplasmic granules and they are the sites of protein synthesis the very important part of the entire cell structure is the cytoplasm a jelly like material which contains all the cell organelles enclosed within the cell membrane thank you for your attention and time meet you in my next lesson